Each night under the snow. I... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite dust in the building, and it's been a minute since I have posted. It's been like a week. I've just been living life, chilling, you know, having fun. So, um, today I'm going to give you guys an in-depth tutorial how to make a Spider-Man beanie. Um, y'all might be like, why are you making it right now if it's summer? Well, you gotta start early sometimes. Doing it right now so people can buy it later. Anyway, so what I'm doing right now is currently in order. Like somebody has actually ordered that, and I, I'm going to take the opportunity to give you guys a tutorial. I did it before. I have done it multiple times, and I feel like I can show you guys. You guys can also purchase a Spider-Man beanie at Iconic Bags and Bags, which is my Instagram business page. But if you don't want to, which is extremely reasonable, and you want to do it yourself from home. You can go ahead and follow this tutorial. A lot of people might think, oh my god, why would I do this if I can get like a $5 or $2 beanie, you know, online? Well, there's a difference between fast fashion crochet and slow fashion crochet. To not go too deep into that, fast fashion crochet is just basically like what you're going to see. Like things like Urban Planet, Forever 21, so like they're going to make it seem like it's crochet. And slow fashion crochet... <coughs> is authentic real crochet so i have done spider-man beanies in the past and i will show you guys how it looks like so this is like one of them that i have done and this is the one without like folding so you just put it over your head and this is one you can fold so these are the two spider-man beanies. i've actually made three so an image of the third one is going to be there um and yeah they're not just decoration they're not just pretty they're genuinely spider-man beanies that you can actually wear i will show you guys so this is the first one beanie number one that you can wear and it's stretchy it's really comfortable it feels amazing and beanie number two this is perfect in my head it feels great it feels amazing you know this is my main beanies that i've i have made more hats but that is a tutorial for another day so if you guys want to know how to make these two plus the image i showed it's actually easier than you think and I will show you guys how to achieve that. Follow this tutorial. Boom. Well, you want to select the color of your yarns. You want to select the three colors because obviously there is the color of the hat and there's the color of the eyes. Um, so my color and the color the person who ordered wants is red. And they want the eyes to be white and black. But they want the exterior of the eyes to be black and the interior to be white. And I will also show you guys color switching. I think I will. Yeah. So usually how much do you chain? How does it start? So what you're going to do is you're going to do a slip knot, which is basically just like wrapping it around your finger, putting this end into the inside and pulling through, but not completely. Like this, you're going to pull through like that. And from this end, you can tighten it, you can loosen it boom so usually a lot of people i've watched a lot of other tutorials they're going to chain from 40 to 45 chains for a normal like the length of a normal hat you guys seen the black hat i've done 45 chains for this but the person who is ordering my hat wants it a slightly longer so i will do about 55 to 60 chains but typically you can do 40 to 45 chains so i will do my chains and i will catch you guys so I've done my 60 chains and it's pretty it's a pretty long hat 60 chains and I chained one so you're going to do the number of chains you're supposed to do so let's pretend you do 45 you're going to chain one so it's going to actually be 46 so from now you're going to go in the back loop and I will show you guys from close up because you can't really see from here so so now we're going to be doing single crochets in the front as you can see so we're going to go through the stitch you're going to now you're going to wrap around your hook pull through now you should have two holes you're going to wrap around and pull through the tube so this is what we're going to do it's called single crochet if i'm explaining it not the way you guys want it you guys can go look for a tutorial but you basically go inside wrap around so now you have two and then you wrap around and pull through the two you're going to do this all along and until the end of your um chain so another one you're going to go inside wrap around pull through so now you're going to have two wrap around and pull through two 
and yeah you're going to do this all around until you get till the end now that we're at the end we're at the last one you're going to go inside wrap around pull through you're going to have two wrap around pull through two so this is the last one and now you're at the last one you're going to chain one you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work over and essentially you're still going to keep doing single crochets but here you have what looks like kind of like a v you're going to put it into the back loop this is the back loop this is what we're going to be working with because that's what will enable your work to look stretchy and to feel good so you're going to pull through wrap around pull through two so you're going to go inside the back loop just the back loop no front loop not both just the back loop and you're going to do all single crochets like i just showed you guys all through the end okay so now that i've showed you guys um the main part of the the um hack using the back hook you're going to do um what i think is reasonable is 20 rows because i have a big head and i have braids and 20 rows works perfectly for me if it's there's even a little bit of space that's perfect it's amazing um and um, you can do more if you feel like you have a bigger head and you can do less if you feel like your head is smaller if you feel like your head is smaller i would recommend 16 to 18 rows um if you feel like you have a head like me and you have like braids i feel like 20 rows is perfect but if you have like a lot of hair or if you feel like your head is just slightly bigger i recommend 22 to 27 rows you do usually um your work should also be stretchy so when i'm come back and i'm done after my 20 rows I will show you guys how it should eventually look like. Okay, y'all, don't mind how long it's been. It's been a very long time. Two days. But anyways, um, so this is when you finish the 20 rows. It should be really stretchy. You know, it should be really... And this is the most part of your work because after you do the Spider-Man eyes, you're just going to have to finish the hat with 20 more rows so it's gonna be really easy so this is the graph you should be following um for the color switching um i want to show y'all but i suggest y'all go watch a video about how to color switch i'm gonna just show you guys a little um how to just a little bit in case you guys don't know but if my explanation is not clear um i suggest you go search um search up a youtube video how to do color switch or crochet but i will show you guys and yeah so now that you've gotten to the point where you want, um, this is where this call switching happens. So you're going to go in your back loop. You're going to go through, pull through one, and this is where we're going to find our other color to switch. Um, at this right time, so I'm going to take my black, I'm going to wrap it around the hook, and I'm going to pull through the two holes that we have. And now we have our new color inserted. It doesn't run too, it doesn't overlap, it's perfect. And the next stitch that you're going to do is going to be completely black. So this is how it should look like after you've color switch. It shouldn't be um, weird, it shouldn't overlap, it shouldn't look, it should look neat. It should look like one color and then the other color right after. So now I'm going to do my 10 12 and when i'm done i'm going to show you guys how it looks like so now i'm at the end and that you want to switch back to the color you originally started from same process you're going to go through the back loop wrap around pull through two and now you're going to find your red and you're going to take the red from the start you're going to wrap around your hook like just like we did with the black color and you're going to pull through two. And here we have next stitch you're going to do is going to go back to your original color red. And this is how you're going. This is a technique you're going to use to switch in between every single color. Um, it's going to look extremely neat. But this technique has to be used on the stitch before if you want the pre the, the next stitch to be a certain color. For example, if you want stitch seven to be red, you have to do it on stitch six. I hope it it's all clear. Uh, so this is how it looks like after the color switching that i just showed you guys you're going to keep doing the same in between the black the red as well as the white and once you get used to it it gets super easy i promise you guys color switching is not that hard i can attest this i can tell you guys so you're going to do that and after you're done your spider-man eyes you're going to add 20 rows on top of it 
and you both side it should be 20 rows spider-man eyes 20 other rows and um i will show you guys what you're going to do after that and then yeah y'all don't mind my hair don't don't mind the change of hair i got too lazy to continue the project but this is how your project should look like after you've done the amount of rows so i just felt like i didn't really need to do as many rows on this side compared to that side because i felt like it was stretchy and big enough and also if your project kind of looks like mine where like it starts like longer and it goes smaller i promise you guys it is completely fine it is completely normal matter of fact this is how your project should be so don't restart don't think it's weird don't think you're doing it wrong you're doing it perfectly right it happens it's okay i've done like this type of hat multiple times and every single time it has happened it should look like this it just shouldn't be to the point where it's it's affecting your project anyway so i'll explain to you guys the next steps project what you're going to do is these both of these opposite sides you're going to slip stitch them together um if you don't know what a slip stitching is um i suggest you go find a video because i don't have enough storage to show you guys i'm so sorry but you're basically going to um, put them together if you'd rather sew you can sew as well and once your hat looks kind of like that there's a hole at the bottom there's a hole at the top you're going to sew the top like kind of like scrunched up like that however you're going to flip it so you slip stitch you're going to flip it so when you flip your work you're going to be backwards and when you are backwards that is when you're going to scrunch the top so when you flip your hat it looks perfect it doesn't look messy and the way i scrunch the top i will sew it at the top because i think that's perfect for me and by the time we come back here the hat should be complete it should be perfect it should be done so before we get into the final part of the hat i just wanted to show you guys how it looks like after you slip stitched um your hat together like i just wanted to show you guys instead of jumping straight into the hat so the hole at the top the hole at the bottom and now you're going to flip it backwards to be able to scrunch it guys after i don't know how many days i finally finished the order i finally finished the hat this is how it looks like back front the person told me that they wanted it longer this time and i did it longer because don't mind my speaker but that's how they wanted it and that's how it looks like and this is how your hat should look like if you had any difficulties and you don't understand anything or i just didn't explain it properly you guys can ask in the comments i'm going to be more than happy to answer um but yeah this is how it looks like and a head should be able to fit inside you know it should be stretchy it should feel good um and this is how the inside looks like um at the top the scrunch top it's okay for it to look weird from the inside as long as it looks good from the outside but yeah so this is it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching this tutorial i know i've been really i've been slacking a lot on posting i will get back to it and you guys will get amazing uni vlogs as soon as i start uni um but yeah thank you for watching i love you guys <laughs>